Now we find that this man, Micah, had a son. It's all a family affair. And I guess that bothered him a little. But this is what happened. Verse 7 now of Judges 17. That was a young man out of Bethlehem, Judah, of the family of Judah, who was a Levite. And he sojourned there. And the man departed out of the city from Bethlehem, Judah, to sojourn where he could find a place. And he came to Mount Ephraim to the house of Micah as he journeyed. Now, he is an itinerant preacher, by the way. And Micah said unto him, Whence comest thou? And he said unto him, I'm a Levite of Bethlehem, Judah, and I go to sojourn where I may find a place. And Micah said unto him, Dwell with me. And be unto me a father and a priest, and I will give thee ten shekels of silver by the year, and a suit of apparel, and thy vittles, room and board. So the Levite went in. Now, this is a hired preacher, if you please. Here's the hired preacher that is the messenger boy of a board or of a little group. And God have mercy on a church that has that kind of a preacher. And so here is this Levite here just has become now a priest, but he's got a house full of idols. And the Levite was content to dwell with the man. And the young man was unto him as one of his sons. So the Levite, you know, sort of took the boy in. But he didn't condemn his idolatry. And Micah consecrated the Levite. The young man became his priest and was in the house of Micah. Then said Micah, Now know I that the Lord will do me good, seeing I have a Levite to my priest. Now this is certainly a revelation of the low spiritual ebb that the nation had sunk to. Here is a man that thinks if he just has a Levite, an ordained preacher, that that's all that he needs. How tragic it is. And yet this man expects the blessing of God upon him. And how many are like that today?